Okay, welcome back to the channel, folks. Uh, I know it's been a few weeks since I posted a video. I do apologize for that. I've had a lot going on. Uh, I work this thing called a J-O-B. I have a full-time job. Um, what do I do for a living? I am an aircraft mechanic. I work for a major airline that's based here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. I cannot mention their name. They don't like it. They're kind of funny about that. They don't like for us to mention them on Facebook, uh, YouTube, social media of any kind. So, okay, so I won't. Uh, all I will say is it's not, it is not American Airlines, but it is an airline that's based here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I just wanted to make a quick video tonight, show you the progress that I've made on the kayak, and I keep kind of glancing over here at it. Uh, I've been working on the second seat modification and I'm gonna turn the camera around here real quick and show you what's going on there um, I took this uh, stadium seat that I bought from Academy and uh, just made some real simple brackets here uh, still got to put the finishing touches on them uh, but I just took some aluminum pieces uh, some stuff that I picked up at Home Depot some flat aluminum some aluminum angle and uh, made brackets and again, like I did with that seat, uh, and that seat's not attached, it's just, it's just laying there. I just have it up there just out of the way. But like I did with that seat, I used existing holes, existing mounting rails, um, and I did not drill any new holes in the boat. And I'm glad I didn't because uh, I've made a decision about this kayak, and it's kind of one that um, I didn't expect uh, that I was going to make. But uh, just as soon as I finish uh, this seat mod, I'm putting this kayak up for sale on Craigslist. And um, I am going to build my own boat. So this is going to be the John Boat Faith Fishing and Boat Building Channel, at least for a while. Um, what I've decided to do is I'm going to build, uh, design and build a, uh, a plywood well, John Boat. You know, so the John Boat channel is going to feature a John Boat. How about that? But anyway, um, I've been looking at plans on the internet. Uh, I've been looking at uh, some of the uh, boat build videos on YouTube. And, uh, you know, with my uh, experience in aircraft maintenance, um, you know, I feel like I have the skills, you know, that I need to uh, build a boat and hopefully get it to float. Uh, but anyway, um, you know, when you look at uh, structures in boats or structures in airplane they share a lot of, uh, in an airplane they share a lot of similarities so I should be able to take my experience aircraft maintenance uh, experience and apply that to this build um, once I get this Hobie Outback sold I'm going to take that money use that money to buy my materials so anyway uh, like I said Hopefully, over the course of the you know, next three or four months or so, uh, we'll get that boat completed, uh, get to a point where I can float test it. Uh, this is going to be a powered boat now. It's not going to be a, a, a paddle or a push pole. I am going to uh, build this boat with the uh, idea in mind of uh, putting an outboard on it, about an oh, eight or nine horsepower outboard, and uh, have a grab rail in the, in the middle of it. Uh, I'm going to build this boat uh, to draft very shallow. I want to take this down to the Gulf Coast uh, here in Texas and uh, go fishing in the flats. So uh, the, it's important that you know this boat have a very shallow draft. And so, like I said, I've been looking at some uh, other builds on YouTube. I was looking at uh, there's a YouTuber. I don't know if he's in Australia or New Zealand. Uh, he goes by the uh, name of Timmy Turtle. And uh, about a year or so ago, he built a, a little small skiff. So I was kind of looking at that, and I'm going to uh, sort of expand on what he built uh, in, in my build. Uh, we'll probably use some of the same techniques that he used, but um, of course, like I said, it's just not going to be the exact same boat. But uh, anyhow, um, that's it. Um, I am uh, also looking at possibly retiring. Uh, within the next uh, few months, depending on uh, my employer. Uh, they're offering early retirement packages here soon. We don't know the details. I don't know if it's something I'm going to be able to afford. If they do offer uh, a retirement package that I can live with, then I'm going to take it. 
and uh, hopefully within about a year, uh, maybe sooner, uh, my wife and I will sell this house here in Fort Worth and move down to either Brazoria or Angleton or somewhere in that general area, Brazoria County. Uh, my wife and I are originally from uh, Lavaca County, that's near Shiner, Hallettsville, um, roughly about 60 miles north of Victoria, Texas. And uh, we, well, you know, we've been here in North Texas. I took a job with Delta Airlines back in 1991. And uh, we moved up here to the Dallas-Fort Worth area when I took that job. And uh, of course then, you know, the 9-11 uh, happened and then the airline industry went through a downturn and I took a buyout package from Delta at that time in 2004. And then, you know, I eventually ended up working for the airline that I work for now. Like I said, cannot mention who they are. They don't like that, so we won't give them any free advertising. Uh, is what it is. But anyway, um, we want to move back home. We consider South Texas to be home, and uh, but we're not going to move back to Lavaca County. Uh, Lavaca County is just too far from everything. We want to be a little bit closer, uh, not in Houston or Harris County, but maybe you know within an hour's drive. And also want to be, want to be close to the. Uh, to the coast where I can uh, get my boat into the water and go fish the bays and marshes down there. So anyway, um, that's all I have for now. Um, stay tuned, more to come. See you later, behave, be blessed, and uh, it's time for me to be gone.